Hey, it's Tom, and welcome to new Synth News episode. Hope you are fine and relaxed. At Music China 2024, Don has unveiled the L1, an upcoming Roland SH101 analog synthesizer clone, the second synthesizer product after the B1 baseline synth, which was inspired by the Roland TB303. In terms of features, it's not an exact one-to-one -one clone, but has slight differences. There is also a modern twist. Like the vintage SH101, the L1 features a single oscillator, but with four simultaneously mixable waveforms, saw, triangle, pulse width and a sub, with selectable minus one octave square, minus two octave square or two octave pulse. You can also mix in a noise generator and an external input. The oscillator has a range of 4 octaves, so 2, 4, 8 and 16 with dual pitch mod and selectable pulse width modulation, so either with the LFO, envelope or manually, so exactly like on the Roland SH-101. Then you have an analog filter with cutoff frequency and resonance controls, like on the original you can modulate it with envelope, LFO or with a keyboard. It's a bit pity that the L1 does not have the advanced FM options for the filter that the Behringer MS1 has. Next to this is the modulation and here's the difference. Unlike the Roland SH101 or Behringer MS1, the upcoming Donner L1 will host two full ADSR envelopes. This gives you a full independent envelope for the filter and for the VCA. Talking about the VCA, you can control it with the envelope 2, gate mode, cycle mode, which is an LFO style mode, or with the drone mode. The latter is also a functionality that does not exist in the original. On the left side, next to the VCO, there is also an audio rate syncable LFO with triangle and square waveforms, random and noise generator options, and LFO rate control. Also on board is the glide function with a free mode slider switch for off, on and auto, and speed control. There is also a screen, but unfortunately the patches that you created with the analog Donner L1 engine can be saved in the unit. That's a big shame. Part of the Donner L1 is also an arpeggiator with various playing direction, down, down, up, up, down, up and random, and a step sequencer with pattern saving option like on the B1. On the back side, the L1 offers an on-off switch, a DC input, USB-C port, MIDI in, MIDI out, on 3.5mm MIDI jacks, audio input, main output and a whole pedal socket. On the top panel you can also find various other connections including sync in, sync out, CV gate out, external input and headphone socket. A special feature of the Donner L1 is its keyboard called KB32M. Thanks to the magnet system you can easily remove and reattach it. The system transmits here the MIDI data over the magnet to the desktop module. The KB32M keyboard offers touch-sensitive pitch and mod wheels, a built-in monochrome OLED display, shift button, octave control and hold function. On the back you can find dedicated MIDI output, USB-C connector and a hold pedal socket. According to MIDI fan, from whom I got the information, it will be also possible to buy the L1 as a desktop unit or in a bundle with the keyboard. The system here is very reminiscent of the Roland Boutique Synth, but only in bigger. And by the way, the guy on the picture is the developer of the L1. And according to information, there will be more synthesizers like this in the future that use the same keyboard system. Sound demos are not available because this information comes from China. At first look, it looks like a very modern SH101 synthesizer. The option of undocking the keyboard and that they are developing an ecosystem of synths from this is pretty interesting. The extra envelope is also a neat add-on. The lack of FM filter and the ability to save patches is here a shame. If the sound and price are right, this could be a very good alternative to the Behringer MS1, but let's see. An official price and release date is not yet available, but my information says it could be that they release it for NAM 2025. Let's stay for very short news in China. After leaks, Behringer has officially released the JT4000M, the Roland GP8000 inspired micro synthesizer with a MIDI input socket. Not a big news, but good to see that it now has a MIDI socket instead of just USB-C. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this news and the upcoming Donner L1. Do we need more SH-101 synthesizer clones or do you have enough already with the bearing MS-1? Would be cool to discuss with you. Big thanks and hope to see you again very soon in the next video. Bye!